<clears throat> I'm Jocelyn Levitsky Gray. I'm the Young Australian of the Year in 2015, and I'm an Auslan user. Australian Sign Language is my first language. Auslan Australian Sign Language is a real language. It has its own grammar, its own structure, its own syntax, just like any other spoken language around the world. It's not just a language we have, we have a culture, a community, we have history, we have traditions, values and beliefs. Most people around, uh, we've been around as long as other people have been around in the world. So, I'm fortunate I come from a deaf family, which means that my culture and my heritage have been passed down to me throughout the generations. 95% of deaf people are born to parents who can hear, which means that culture and language is not transmitted to them in the same way. Those children, when their parents give birth to these babies, they realise that the baby is deaf, and the first person they meet in their life is this deaf baby, the first time they've met a deaf person. They meet members of the medical field, like doctors, audiologists, speech pathologists, who try to persuade the parents that the child needs to hear and they need to learn to speak. Because society's ideology believes that that's the right thing to do, that being able to hear and speak equates with having a language. They just don't think that they can have a language any other way. So they're encouraged to have the child grow up and have a cochlear implant and a hearing aid, and all of the effort is towards that. But they think, oh no, don't mix with deaf people. Don't use sign language. Sign language is really the last resort. You don't want to do that. Heaven's sake, no. From the age of zero up to six years of age, that's the critical language learning period. And often these kids miss out on that. They grow up. They don't identify as anything or anyone. Cognitively, they have a language delay. They don't have self-esteem or confidence. And then they're foisted upon the deaf community and they say, oh, well, sign language is just a last resort for you. You didn't learn to hear us speak, bad luck for you. So society then has the audacity to say to us deaf people, well, look at that, you know, deaf people can't cope. They've got language delay and cognitive delay. But they're the people that messed us up in the first place because they didn't let us have access to language and sign language. So I'm bilingual and bicultural. I grew up in a deaf family. I'm the young Australian of the year. <laughs> We should celebrate Australian Sign Language. It belongs to Australia, for heaven's sake. It's your language. It's a real language and it's beautiful. And our deaf children need to have access to it from birth. That's it. I don't want to be the last deaf young Australian of the year. I want to see more deaf young Australians of the year. If we work together, we can have more strength and more confidence in deaf women like me. Thanks very much.